Turkey is now part of the global technology race, and their entrance is loud. The country has just made headlines by spending an astonishing $15 billion on its first Turkish humanoid robot factory. And you can say the robots from these factories aren't like any random ones. They are humanoid robots of well-advanced technology, almost on par with the capabilities of humans. Buckle up, it's going to be an interesting ride with machines. Ipera is the first robotic actress in Turkey and a remarkable product that embodies the increasing fusion of robotics and the performing arts. Designer Bagger Akbay, science fiction writer Tevfik Uyar, and computer engineer Zeynep Nal Caesar asked themselves, what can a character from Turkey show us about ourselves? Through Ipera, this question opens the door to a more profound study of identity and technology in contemporary culture. During her first appearance at the contemporary Istanbul Art Fair, she answered the audience's questions through a video interview and Cincinnati's first exhibition and shared her story as a digital performer. Besides her artistic projects, she is also preparing for a role in the movie Digital Human, which will address the issue of whether robots can relate to humans in a story-based environment. This film will be one of the most significant in the history of cinema, as it integrates robotics and fiction, inviting the public to ponder the role of artificial intelligence in everyday situations. Ada 7 Robot One of Akeen Robotics's flagship products, the Ada 7 Robot, vividly illustrates the strengths of the company which focuses on building robots capable of making human life easier by performing tedious and ergonomically unfriendly work. Akin Robotics has a large R&D unit of 11,000 square meters, where teams of engineers and technicians work together and design new solutions within the diverse world of robotics. The company is also focused on deepening the Turkish populace's interest in science and technology so they do not just develop technology. Akin Robotics enhances social responsibility by emphasizing life care automation. They aim to improve the quality of jobs by shifting monotonous work away from people to robots, making it possible for people to do more meaningful work. Akin Robotics, with a vision that keeps abreast with the newest developments in robotics and artificial intelligence, is one of the important players in the growing field of humanoid robotics and makes important contributions to the local industry and to international discussions of technology. EVE. According to reports, EVE is an advanced humanoid robot marketed by One X Technologies, a Norwegian firm that specializes in full-scale humanoid robot production. The company was formerly known as Halodi Robotics. The key feature of EVE is its ability to navigate complex environments efficiently due to the multi-terrain wheels which allow EVE to walk. Additionally, the robot stands at a height of 6 foot 2 and weighs approximately 192 pounds. The weight means that Eve is able to carry up to 33 pounds of additional weight and deploys 8 miles per hour, which makes the device suitable for logistics, healthcare, and retail businesses. The embodied learning feature of the robot also makes it unique, as it allows for combination of robotics and AI in a way that allows the robot to understand natural language and dialogue. Subsequently, after breaking the task down into easy, manageable steps, the robot is able to perform autonomously. Furthermore, the robot soft mechanics design enables the device to engage in safe interactions with humans. Turkey Akin Robotics Akin Robotics has shifted the horizon of the country's technology as they have released the production of humanoid robots into the horrifying province of Turkey. These soldiers will mark the beginning of the country's advancement into the future. Akinsoft has laid the foundation to mass produce these breathtaking machines and is only a glimpse into the future. The humanoid robots are classified into 120 categories depending on their uses. Currently, they have been deployed in the food industry, education, tourism, advertising, broadcasting, and even medicine. To stun further, these new age humanoid robots are capable of hearing, speaking, internet browsing, smell detection, and recognizing faces. Akinsoft's board of directors is pleased with the newly constructed factory, which was constructed in a mere 18 months. From selling products in shops, to advertising in malls, to even escorting passengers at bus stations and airports, these robots are highly versatile. In fact, they can be programmed to serve specific purposes, such as aiding housewives or working as nurses in hospitals. Robot Sortation in Turkey Kiranet, the Turkish parcel distribution company, has incorporated robotic sortation technology which is the largest in Europe. The application was designed and installed by Libya Robotics, along with Lamaster, who handles its Turkish distribution and provides after-sale support. 
The system is utilized at Kiranet's Tesla facility, located near Istanbul. It integrates 120 Libyao Mini Yellow Autonomous Mobile Robots with five parcel induction points to connect over 700 destination shoots, achieving a staggering 45,000 items per hour. This system is an economical option and has more benefits than the conventional tilt tray and cross-belt conveyor-based sortation systems. Each robot requires just one-fifth of the floor space needed for the conveyor systems, has a load capacity of 10 kilograms, and is equipped with collision avoidance technology to ensure safety during route-based tasks. Traditional fixed equipment desperately lacks the required flexibility to keep up with the changing requirements of modern-day parcel fulfillment businesses. Oriheim Cafe Oriheim Cafe serves as a pioneering example in the use of sophisticated robotics in hospitality in Japan, especially in a way that assists people with disabilities. The robots are called Oriheim, and they are remotely operated by people with severe physical disabilities. They engage with customers and perform certain actions within the establishment with the help of a waiter, fostering a stronger sense of connection within the community. This initiative works to both empower people with disabilities and promote inclusivity within society. The goals behind this establishment is that technology can enhance social engagement. Moreover, people who are not mobile or even able-bodied people with no means to engage actively within society can enjoy increased confidence through work at home and in society that they are capable of performing more than they ever thought possible. In particular, the video highlights the cafe's features where remote operators serve as a point of interaction with customers, enabling them to feel engaged. Aside from that, these robots can complete a variety of other functions, including placing orders and serving prepared food. Pediaroid is a groundbreaking child robot engineered by Tumsuk for the training of pediatric dentistry practitioners. This sophisticated robotic simulator is capable of handling the behavioral patterns and emotions of a child that fidgets when put on a dental chair for treatment. The unique robot comes with a six-year-old physical form and manifests behavioral tendencies such as whining and fear-based facial expressions. Pediaroid responds physically too. In addition to showing emotional symptoms of fear, the robot can go as far as squirming out of medical instruments reach, flailing arms in panic and changing the color of the skin to simulate a medical emergency. Further, the robotic patient helps the pediatric practitioner in training learn effective communication skills and gives them hands-on experience of what it feels to deal with a child in panic while having to attend to a medical issue. With the help of a tablet, teachers can now operate the robot from afar while supervising the learner. The Pediaroid's technological advancements have helped eliminate the risks associated with providing dentists in training with real patient exposure in pediatrics. The Humanoid Robot Astrobot S1 was developed by the company Astrobot, which is a part of Stardust Intelligence. It has drawn a lot of attention for its state-of-the-art abilities and artificial intelligence. It works with the speed and precision of a human, as it has been designed with advanced technology. Its liftable payload is 10 kilograms, while its average top speed is 10 meters while second, surpassing most Olympic athletes. For both residential and commercial purposes, it is quite versatile. One of its primary innovations is its functionality to learn 1x without external assistance, making it user-friendly. Witnessing a human sequence through sophisticated imitation learning techniques, the S1 replicates and learns them. Even mundane tasks such as watering plants, folding laundry, cooking, and even more intricate tasks like calligraphy or flipping a sandwich while frying it are handled effortlessly by the S1. With a repeatability of motions clocking in at 0.03 mm, performing the most delicate tasks with a formidable standard of precision is achieved. Kaimi is an innovative humanoid robot prototyped by Mako Robotics that is focused toward the hospitality sector. As the first fully automated bartender in the world, Kaimi possesses the ability to mix and serve an assortment of drinks, including but not limited to cocktails, beers, and even coffee, while astonishingly with the capability to serve over 253 items in an hour. At two meters in height, Kimi has advanced robotic arms that enable it to grasp drinks and pour them accurately, while also having the ability to control the pressure and temperature of the drink being poured. This ensures that quality service is provided. Tasked with maintaining accurate amounts of liquids for beverages, Kimi also comes with an AI system that allows him to monitor the liquid quantity being poured. He is also able to work independently in a variety of environments. He can be employed in conjunction with human employees, assuming the more monotonous parts of the jobs for the waiters to tend to the more nuanced complex interactions of customers. Robot Warehouse in China The Chinese Alibaba company is the latest company in the world to integrate robotic solutions into their workforce. As a result, the warehouse owned by the e-commerce giant Alibaba 
has automated its workflow processes with robots and has increased productivity by 300% productivity. This warehouse is located Nebula Heavens, Guadong, Guangdong Province, China, with surface area of about 3,000 square meters. The artificial intelligence robots were designed and developed by the renowned Chinese company Quicktron, based in Shanghai. The robots are programmed to receive tasks over Wi-Fi from the human operators, performing the packaging and storage control duties. They can carry several racks and other loads up to 500 kilograms at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. Over 1,000 intelligent robots work in the warehouse. Equipped with lasers for navigation, the robots are able to talk to each other to prevent collisions by, for example, yielding to other robots. In order to maximize efficiency, the robots know how to autonomously recharge their low batteries. The Ibo Robot Dog, launched by Sony, is an intelligent robotic pet built for interactive experience. Ibo was commercially launched in 2018 as the ERS-1000 model. The four-legged Ibo Dog incorporates quad-core CPU, built-in LTE, Wi-Fi, and other sensors which aid it to learn to its surroundings. Ibo comes equipped with emotional OLED screen eyes and limbs that are able to move in various positions, such as sitting, walking, or rolling over. The robot dog is capable of face recognition, voice recognition, and most importantly, it is able to emote specific moods such as happiness or sadness. These allow the Ibo dog to foster a strong relationship with its owner over time. The interactions of the owner and the pet dog Ibo are even further enhanced when the dog is able to interact and play with toys like a ball or bone. The robot dog is equipped with visual recognition, enabling cameras mounted on the robot to connect with surrounding objects. Kurobo is the first robot astronaut created through the collaboration of Toyota Motor Corporation, Dentsu Inc., Robo Garage, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, through the Kibo Robot Project. Kurobo was brought to existence on 4 August 2013 and was sent to the International Space Station on 10 August 2013, while it was installed in H2 transfer vehicle Kunatori 4. Kurobo weighs around 1 kg and is 34 cm tall. The robot uses modern technology to enable voice recognition, face recognition, natural language processing, and many more. Kirobo's primary responsibility was to converse with the first Japanese ISS commander, Koichi Wakata, to further his English-speaking capabilities. Kirobo's achievement was monumental, as he became the first robot to hold a conversation in space during a test on the 6th of December 2013. Kirobo's design includes the ability to produce sounds and hand signs to communicate during the zero-gravity chambers. Kurobo came back to Earth in February 2015 after spending nearly 18 months on the ISS.